Hello everyone and welcome to Prison Architect. Wow, okay, so I just saw something on the interwebs with apparently there is a secret mode in the game. Apparently they're working on a 3D version. Wow, okay, so not everything is in yet, so you can see here. Oh, the lights are here working. Oh my god, this is slow. Can I do this quicker? No, not really. It's a little it's a it's a little glitchy. Here the shower heads are underground but available. Uh, here you can see prisoners, the beds are still oh are also 2D. Let's see, oh the bunk beds are no the bunk beds are flat. You can see not everything is in 3D but some things are. Oh the canteen looks pretty nice. I like it, I like it. But uh, this is not really a playable version yet, so we're gonna switch back. So how do you do this? Well, ooh, the presses are in. Oh, nice. Oh, that looks pretty epic. Yeah, I like it. So the way you do this is you go into the extra menu and you're going into this button here. This button switches it back to 2D and 3D and it is... Uh, going to be interesting. You can do very interesting things even with escape mode where this works in. Uh, yeah, so I wonder what they're doing with that. But today, uh, today we are gonna start working on... Uh, working on that. I actually haven't planned this out. But... What's in here? Oh, I guess some characters didn't really got rendered in back correctly. But that will be, I think, a second before that will be working. So today we are going to start working on uh, the medium security cells. That feels like a thing to do. So let's start doing that. Also, how did you like the intro? I finally have an intro. Oh, yeah. So let me know in the comments what you think about it. What you think of the colors, the other stuff I'm using. If you have any suggestions. Please leave them in the comments and I will see what I can do. It's still up for debate. So, yeah. I was thinking about building the area here. Or starting to build. Let's let's light it up a little. Just build this cell to here. But I am thinking about making this the end of my cell. And doing some more wall stuff here. Like a first fence and maybe a perimeter wall. Or how is that to be called? Yeah, perimeter wall outside it. That is an expensive one. That will take a long while for before we're getting that one. But I think that is the best idea. So we are gonna make a room that is 27 by 46, only a little higher. This one was the little more luxurious cells. And these are 51 by 31, with of course a little gap in the middle at 31. Oh, so that is almost a square. Okay, so let's draw some stuff out here. Uh, let's see, how much does it need to go up, more or less? About 13 meters. Okay, we can do that. So the top wall will be here. And that feels like a little better idea. Then the yard is a little smaller, a little more manageable. And I think that is enough space to even do anything, everything we actually wanted to. And we can, have, of course, extend it eventually, if we really want to. But I don't, don't think we will. Uh, so, how are we going to start this? Well, first off, we are going to move the wall over. So we are going to start with a fence. And just continue this on through here and then up. Through, let's try to go to here, so it lines up with this one over here, and close it off. Now, while we're doing that, I do like to get this equipment we need going through here, through this narrow passageway. So to do that, we need some paved stone to let people walk a little faster. And we need an airlock. Well, we kind of have an airlock already. There are two doors here, but I do like to get an extra one. So we are getting a fence in... Mm, actually, might be able to do it. Let's just get a fence in. I don't think that one will be a problem. We're getting a fence. And actually, now that I think about it, 
I should include everything at once. So we're gonna remove the fence over there. Uh, we are gonna add a concrete floor towards here. Apparently, oh, for the paste though. Like this. And then we're gonna add the fence wall all the way around towards here. And that feels like a good start. So let's start building that. Let's really roll. Okay, feels like a good idea. Is somebody. Oh, it's from the library. Okay. That is a better, quote unquote. Are there people going towards. Oh, wow. The shop is busy again. Did we do good on the shop already? Actually, did I fix. Yeah, I did fix it. I fixed the staff door there. Yeah. Where's the shop manager? Where's the worker? Oh, the worker is already there. We had nine sales there and we got 9,000 for an early prisoner release. That means everybody got released. Nice. Let's see, it looks like a few people are still cutting down trees. Is the wood being moved to here or is it being moved to exports? That's one of the big questions here. The answer to that, it's going in the prison. That's good. A few people are annoyed here by spirituality. Maybe I need one digger there. Yay, we got the eat eating people again. I think I'm gonna stop clicking those pictures because for some weird reason they're still here. How about while the workers are doing the big work here, how about an armory? If you have some stuff here, some room, how big is an armory gonna be? Armory needs to be... Oh, it doesn't have a room size. But this might be a nice one. If we add a little wall over here. Another staff door. Hello truck. We might have a nice area for everything to fit. So uh, the room needs a table. The weapon racks. And the lockers for the armed guards. Like so. Now everybody can get some nice pieces of uh, step fast there or armored fests how are they called here they are called body armor okay then it's guess it's body armor okay you're working what are you doing carry on logs okay through here because this is now active they can walk to there we do, do need to kill a fence here, which is going to be annoying in case of an escape attempt. That's why I want the outer fence to be done first before I knock down this one. Oh yeah, that was why I wanted the airlock, because otherwise it's gonna be a little easier to escape from here. Might actually not want that. Now I have two doors. I want at least two doors between the inside and the outside, so I think we have enough. But uh, just in case, don't want to try. Okay, where's everybody complaining about? Recreation, literacy, hygiene, family is a big one. Three, four visits. I guess we don't have enough phones, maybe? Well, we can add a few phones. That's not a real problem. Mm, we can add a few over here. If we extend the yard for a little. Yard gonna be extent. There we go. Okay, so it's going well. We've got a nice positive cash flow here. Fence is being constructed slowly. Let's add a few. Oh my god, there goes all the body armor. Let's go for 22 workers. Okay, now all the guards should have... There we go. All the guards have now a step vest. Or some body armor. Hey, picture. Hello. How's family doing? Uh oh Oh, that's over there. It's not a problem. Okay, now I do like to check one thing. Uh, we had some problems with the search block commands. Now, how did I do with the single cells? They do everything except the dormitories. Okay, that is interesting. Good to know at least. A saw. Why do we need a saw? I guess to cut through the bars. I 
god, the amount of stuff here. I guess it was a good idea to uh, try and find everything. Some packs of cigarettes, a phone. It's sleepy time, so it's time for another uh, search for everybody. Let's see what kind of equipment we find. Oh my god! Well, I think we found something. I want all the guards over here. Going to there. Okay, where are they going? Where are they going? Let's, can, let's try and get out. Oh, wow. That was interesting. So, again, in this cell, they tried to dig out. Well, they were almost there, but this time I've got them before they managed to get out, at least. Oh my god. Okay. 20 people in one dormitory is way too much. It's way, way too much. Where are you going? Going to dump some dummies. Oh wow, they were really planning already to go out of here. I guess they didn't do it this time. Nice. Okay, let's uh, restore the floor over here. The floor got messed up as well. Some more concrete here needed. And hopefully that will be a little more difficult to dig through. Now, apparently, uh, for what I have understood from this game, the perimeter wall is a lot more difficult to dig through. I'm not sure if that is true, actually. I'm not sure if that works like that. But, um... I hope it will. If I look at these kinds of things, I really hope it will. Okay. Everything is almost done. Everything has been checked. We almost had an escape attempt. Which one's pretty good, I guess. Oh, what's this? Oh. Why do we get that one? I'm not sure. How is the fence? The fence has been created all of the way around. Except for here, someone who is tired. I guess I will uh, sell that lock so they don't have to. Now, let's try and expand some stuff here. So, we are gonna demolish the wall. This one from there all the way to there. Am I doing that correctly? I yeah. am. Okay, the door is gonna be dismantled. There we go. Speed up the time again. Are they gonna do that? I hope. There you go. Kill the fence. So now we can start building without the interruptions of the fence or other stuff. Okay, that has been done. And now let's get the cell in. Foundation. I am going this time for a concrete foundation. Concrete feels to me like it's a little stronger. Okay, 46 by 27. That was the size. So I hope it actually would. But uh, I guess we'll uh, see what happens. So that is the first one they're gonna build. And the second one is gonna be... Hmm, actually, who am I sure I want to do it like that? I am not, actually. Hmm, let's cancel that. I do have a different idea. So I wanted to have the most occupied cell, which is going together with people, uh, or the dormitories. going to be the dormitories for four persons, I think I had. Um, I was going to do them on the side, but because this one is bigger, I'd actually like this one to be here and this one to be there. So that's how we're going to do that. So this needs to be a 51 by 14. 51 by 14. Like so. And then three in the middle. One, two, three. Like so. It's gonna be a 51 by 14 as well. And then here there's going to be a middle space which is going to be 
21 long. Like so. Okay, that's gonna be the building. Now let's place some doors in, so they can move some stuff in and out. Now let's first plan a little. I do want to do this correctly. So 6x6. Six 6x6. By six. Six by six. And the doors are gonna be next to that. Okay, that means there needs to be a door over here and over here. Okay. Is the deployment correctly for this area? No, it is not. Now it is. So at least no prisoner should get there. Okay. And also one thing I'd like to do is have a temporary storage right about here. Just a big one so they can uh, dump a lot of stuff there. Because now, at the moment, most of this concrete steel and of course, it's apparently some pieces of grass are still there. Okay, the next morning we are getting six people today. Which is not bad, it's not bad at all. The building is being created on a pretty good base. The forestry is creating three trees, uh, two trees at the moment, but we have a lot of wood stored up for the carpentry benches. Are we doing the programs for the carpentry benches actually? So the carpentry is of course the second level of wood cutting, which is being done at f between 4 and 5 in the afternoon. And that will make a lot of money, but not everybody is interested for that. There was a comment, uh, why don't you place only the carpenter tables here because they make more money? Well, it's because not everybody is interested in it. And I think you get better ratings if you do or you let as much people work as you can. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, let's see. Foundation location. This is all good. This is good as well. Pro hearing are going correctly. Let's see how that is going. You are going to be not released. You are going to be not released. And you are going to be not released as well. I guess no money for us today. The cutoff rate is 33% at the moment, which is a standard rate, and I have no intention of changing that anytime soon. Because I think 33% is a pretty good one. Okay, the building is almost complete, at least the first part. Uh, should we build the second part already? Let's let's do that. Let's go into the planning and check what the size was again. The size was... I do need to get the corner. Uh, 27 by 46. Okay, concrete. Oh, one, two, three in the middle. Forty-seven. I forgot. Twenty-seven. By forty-six. Ah, okay. Twenty-seven. By forty-six. There we go. And there will be a door over here. One, two, three, four, five. Over there. Those will be the two doors. Okay. Let's let them build that to Actually, let's just for the moment make a strip of paved stone. Like so. For everybody to run over. That's the first one. Let's pause the game a little so not every lamp will be placed. There we go. There comes the building. And, and now I have no clue if this is correct. Uh, let's first do something like this. So we can wait for the auto save to be completed. There we go. Okay, like I said, we're gonna do only 6x6 six six rooms. Which are gonna be more individual over here and more dormitory like over here. And these are gonna have are gonna be a lot more luxurious and more personal cells. And now let's see what kind of lamps we need to remove. Enable to not have an excess of a butt load eventually. Because they needed to be removed because there was a wall in the way. Mm, let's remove that one, that one, that one. I think 
that is it. Oh, those are a lot less than I normally would have needed to delete. I don't mind. Okay, open you up, open you up. Okay, let them build everything here. I guess we need the power supply, etc. Keep going there as well. I think this power supply is going to have to only power this room anyway, so that will be another workshop. So we do need a new power supply, I think. That's a cable. I think. I hope. Oh my god, there is a lot of... Hey, why are you doing that? You go there. You go there. There we go. I think a few people were booked out there. Now they're working correctly. There we go. That's better. Prisoner intake, 21. Let's see about the people. There comes seven at the moment. Okay, that will be good. There will be 23 visitors, visitors uh, today. That is a lot. That is a lot loads. Okay, let's just finish, finish this up before we're gonna put in the rooms. Well, at least something. We only need to build a few rooms because there is, of course, these times a cloning command. Which we just have, which is over here. We can also do the luxurious cell just from here, but this is the wrong size. This is a 7x5 room and I want the 4x4, so those won't fit. Not in the design I have, at least. There is a lot of contraband going around in my prison. I really need to work it a little better out in the medium security because low security is, well, a problem but not so much. And over here with the medium security guys it will be much more of a problem. Okay, let's plan the rooms again or, well, we can extend these lines a little. Actually, there is pretty simple actually. We can extend these lines. So this one will be removed, those two, I guess that one as well, and that one. And then these two? Oh no. That one, that one, this one is on a wall, this whole row, so this one is gonna be gone. That also, I guess for that one, that might be a little dark in these cells, but we're gonna check that eventually. Uh, did I remove? Well, I guess I will remove these two. Okay, that will be... that is in. Now the only thing that needs is the lights. Let's open the doors here. And let's check... what was I gonna check? Deployment. Actually, these are gonna be unlocked for now. So they can easily walk in and out the building. Okay, we don't have power yet, of course. That will be in a second. Okay, everything is built. Let's start filling in the first cell. So these will be the individual cells. Or... Hmm. So we can have the individual cells. Which are going to be very luxurious for these rooms. But I think I'd like only them here on these sides. And over here I think I'd like two people. I'm not really sure what I said about that in the last episode. That was a few days back for me. Um, but we can start by at least making a few of the cell walls, etc. So this is going to be the wall. And let's make one mirrored on the other side so we can easily copy it over. And these will have, will be a little luxurious. So those, I guess, on the outside will have a bunk bed or a single one. And it will have a toilet. Because that's the necessity. Now we can add everything we want. So I think I want a, a window. And I like a radio. Special radio over there. And let's add a desk. Where are my desks? Desk, office desk.
and with an office desk comes a chair. And I think that's it. Now the thing I need is a jail door, of course. And that is the rooms. I think that will be the size of the rooms. Now these ones over here will be a little more interesting. Those will be four cells, or there will be four persons in one cell. Let's first get the walls in, concrete. Uh, I do not have a mock up here, but this should be four at four, yeah. There will be one door in the middle, kind of, or as far as the middle. There will be two bunk beds, and uh, there will be one toilet. There will be one window. And there will be... Let's, let's, let's check. I think I'd want one more luxurious item. But I do need the room quality to figure it out. I can do the bookshelves actually, that is one thing I'd like to do. A pool table, <laughs> that's gonna be a very big room. I want to make actually one uh, very big pool cha table uh, or one big dormitory for a lot of prisoners. But uh, I want to check some stuff out first before I'd like to do that. So we have six per that's not happening. Radio, bookshelf, chair, window per eight persons. I could actually make a few windows here should work. Uh, ta -ta. I think a chair. Or maybe a radio. How much did it be cost in combination with the radios? The radio is 100, the V is 200, and it's electrical. And electrical is a problem because that can catch fire. So let's add a... Let's add a chair. Standard it will have a chair, and I guess sometimes we can add a radio. One every uh, maybe three, pres three cells or something. Some narcotics has been found. Okay, let's lift and build this, and then we're gonna copy that over. But this will be the end of this episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave a like on it if you did, of course. And I hope to see you all in another episode of Prison Architect. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.